Okay, hello everyone, you're very welcome, thanks for dropping by. Okay, so a bit of a life hack now. I need to bleed the brakes on a, an old Toyota Aventus beside me. I've done three of them, I just thought I'd show how, how I do this. Right, normally I get the missus in the car and she, she'll pump the brakes for me and whatever. But uh, she's fed up with me, so I came up with this bit of a hack. Okay, so all it is is a piece of tube and uh, this is one of your squirty bottle things. You can take it out of, um, you know, anything you want. Uh, window cleaner, furniture polish, whatever and uh, some tube to get you to, down to the car. Now, an advantage of using um, clear tubing is you can see, you can see the oil, I've already done three of the brakes on this one, and you can see the oil, the uh, brake fluid inside that, but it's great for knowing when your, your hose is full. Now, I've seen some stuff on YouTube where, you know, and even in garages, where they've got a clear bottle or something. This works great and it costs nothing, right? And I'll show you how easy it is. So, okay, here we go. Okay, so here we have the bleed nipple on this um, old Toyota Vences. This is just some rubber tubing, and the reason for tubing a tube is just because I didn't have a piece of clear tubing the right size, so this is literally made up. It couldn't be easier. Okay, so just going to break the, the seal on that. Okay, that's an 8mm um, ring spanner. I'm going to pull the ring spanner off, and I'm going to put this bit of rubber tubing over the bleed nipple. Okay, so if I put a bit of... Um, you know, a bit of brake fluid on it, it makes it easier to slide it over. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Now, that's my tubing connected onto the, the bleed nipple. And I've got this guy. Okay, uh, this was a furniture polish um, pump or squirter thing. I don't know what you call it. But anyway, this is how we do it. So I'm just going to crack the bleed nipple while it's already open now, right? So we've got that open. Now, it will suck in some air through the tread here. Now uh, that's normal and you will see some bubbles. So look, if you hold this up, okay, like that, and we start squirting. I'm just, I have a little tray on the ground here, I'm just going to squirt. So as I pull, you know, pump air from the tube, it has to pull in the brake fluid. Let me show you. Now that's just oil that was already in the um, brake fluid. That was in the the, uh, the tube from earlier on when I did the other three wheels. But look at this! Look at all the bubbles going up. That's it. We've just bled the brakes. Now, because I have a, a you know a poor connection on, on the tubing, that's not so good. But and you know it'll continue to pull bubbles all the time. But look, we're after pulling this amount of oil vertically up a tube, and the only way we did that was making vacuum and pulling that oil out of the line. And if I pump this thing again. it goes higher eventually you know there isn't that much oil in the line look you know we've pulled it higher than the bleed than the um, the wheel arch and I could pull it up the bonnet as well if it, or uh, the hood you call it okay so that's it now I'll bet you any money that's bled okay so that's it it took a couple of minutes if that it's very easy um, you, you don't need you know somebody to hop into the car and kind of pump the brake pedal and then you release it uh, it's done you know so um, the, the brake reservoir is higher than the wheel arch um, if you pump it up as high as the brake reservoir that's it you've already purged the line of any air that could be in it couldn't be easier okay and uh, it didn't cost anything okay so it's just a, a squirty thing out of a cleaning products or, or whatever you know flash or whatever um anyway so that's it one of these a bit of clear plastic tubing and uh, just make sure you know you can you can fatten that out and get it onto your tube or wherever and you know something then that fits onto it so literally i just rooted it around and uh i found a few bits of plastic and whatever connected them up to this cost nothing and boom onto the car a couple of seconds later you know it's purged you're after vacuuming your um your your brake fluid down the line normally when you're in the car and you're pumping that's positive pressure and you're, you're driving it out this actually sucked it from the end uh, the reservoir all the way down the line and into a little uh, container ahead underneath and you can see the oil the brake fluid uh, in the tube so that's it simple little life hack uh, for free and save you uh, you know a lot of time and you know you don't even need anybody in, in the car you don't you, you can do it on your own okay so there's a simple little life hack and if you like the video please like comment share subscribe and uh, thanks for all the support and I'll see you all in the next video bye for now